My name is Jim Harkins, and I live in Allegheny Township in Potter County, Pennsylvania. I called them uh, because they had spotlights pointed at our home. Yeah. And I said, well, you promised me this was going to stop. You know, could you please have the spotlights turned away from the home? Well, they turned out the spotlights, and then 45 minutes later, this garbage starts. Flaring is the controlled burning of natural gas. It's used to release the strain on a well created by fracking. It also allows for measuring and testing of the gas. When we first interviewed Jim, Pennsylvania oil and gas laws allowed a Marcellus Shale gas operation within 200 feet of a home, hospital, or business or school. These laws were updated in 2012 when legislators enacted a new but similar law called Act 13. Setbacks between shale gas sites and buildings were increased from 200 to 500 feet. The Marcellus Well is about 770 feet from the home of Jim Harkins. And I would just challenge anyone who thinks that 200 feet is adequate to get 200, 500, 700, 1,000 feet from one of these operations and live there for 24 hours, and you tell me if it's adequate. Even with both blinds and curtains drawn, you can still see a giant flame from inside the house. And meanwhile, this has been going on for a week and a half, uh, flaring day and night, uh, 24 hours a day, all day long, all night long. So far, the wells on the pad near the Harkins' home have been flared three times, lasting a week or more each time. Flares can last anywhere from a few days to over six months. I mean, you can see my bedroom is right there, and the reflection and the sound is just pretty substantial. And they can do it to me, they can do it to anybody. And is that right? Are my rights being preserved? I don't think so. DEP Secretary Michael Kranzer has told the EPA on several occasions since the boom began to stay out of Pennsylvania's business and that Pennsylvania is already doing enough to regulate the industry. If you could, what, what kind of advice could, could we give the feds? Uh, well, my prime advice would be to back off uh, because the states including mine, including Oklahoma, including West Virginia, including Texas, Louisiana, you name it, and I don't mean to leave anybody out, are doing a good job regulating hydraulic fracturing, I'll point to that, in their states where it takes place. just wish our state legislators could see and hear this. And the one question I'd have for every one of them who regulates this, or in, in my opinion doesn't regulate this, is would you want to live next to this garbage? And if you don't want to, then why should you allow it to happen to anyone else? Today is what date? 15th. October 15th, 2012. Williams it Compressor Station Number Two. It went off. Went off. There it goes again. All right, Phyllis, you give me that number for that DEP. I'll call myself. I'm out here recording this, Mary. Can you find our DEP? Put it on a computer. Which one do we call? 
my wife Tammy and I have worked and, and paid folks, friends of ours, to do a lot of work to make this a, a real home for us. This is where we live. Would we have spent that money if we knew this was coming? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Never. to do. I have enough trouble sleeping with my headaches and the pain I'm in all the time. I mean, this just exacerbates it. And it just seems beyond ridiculous to me. But I don't know. I just don't know. been a lifelong Republican and am involved in the Republican Party here in, in uh, Potter County and, and believe in uh, the virtues and the approaches that the party puts forth, uh, by and large. I'm not against drilling. Uh, I'm not against safe, responsible development of our natural resources. One of the most, I think, important facets of, of the development of natural gas and one of the most important issues that we need to talk about is water. My understanding is they started fracking May 1st and our uh, water turned brown on Tuesday, May 3rd.